Hey, before I start my top five, I just want to give a shout out to uh, one of my best friends that I sadly haven't been in contact with in a while, uh, Andres. And uh, without him, honestly, uh, he got me into the music that I eventually became to listen to now. And if it wasn't for him, I'd probably be listening to Hinder or, uh, I don't know, like Breaking Benjamin or Slipknot or whatever. I mean, if you like those bands, you know, all more power to you, but I'm really not into that type of stuff. But anyways, these are going to be my top five albums that got me through eighth grade. And, uh... First off, No Effects, Heavy Petting Zoo. This is the first band that really got me into punk rock and ska and all that other stuff that eventually led to the stuff I listen to today. And this was the first real CD that I was really proud of owning. And whenever I had the chance I could, I would let somebody hear this or I'd have to tell them about this album. It was just... I mean, when I think of 8th grade, I think of this. And I, I remember I bought this at... Uh, I think I bought this in Sawgrass at the Specs and... I saw the cover and I'm like, and I'd always had heard of them, but I'd never heard the music and I bought it and damn it, I loved it. I even owned a t-shirt of this album cover and I remember wearing it all the time and I ended up giving it to this kid in 10th grade. But, uh, I mean, it's such a, such a great punk album. Uh, I remember listening to Hobophobic, Scared of Bums and having everybody in 8th grade listen to it and recite the words because it's like 30 seconds. But this was great and it definitely got me through 8th grade and it's no effects, heavy petting zoo. Next up. Another... This is probably my favorite ska punk band ever, or I should say punk ska band, without any horns. And it's the Suicide Machine's Destruction by Definition. And this one is a classic. This one was another CD that went... Ever I could, and whenever anybody was around, I had to show them this band because I thought they were just... I never heard anything like it before. It was just... I mean, people are going to say, what about Operation Ivy? But I'd heard of them before I heard of Operation Ivy. And this is just a fantastic punk ska, no horns, and, and the lyrics and, and, and the way he sings is just unbelievable. And I was lucky enough to see these guys at least a good three, four times. And... Unfortunately, they're broken up now, but they were one of the bands that definitely got me through eighth grade. And I remember being on a, I was on the, on the bus, but not not a public bus, one of those private buses. And I remember whenever I, I had the chance, I would I had a, I made a mixtape and they're on it, and I would play and everybody's like, oh that's kind of cool, but that's my little moment. And this this next band kind of goes with with Suicide Machines because I bought these two together, and it's. Springs, Ixnay on the Ombre. I used to own it, but then I traded it to some kid. And but uh, this album is fantastic. And unfortunately, I I have good and bad memories of this CD because at the time when I bought it, I was real close with, with this guy named John. That me and Andres, that kid I talked about earlier, were like really close with in in our math class. And it was just eventually one day he he didn't show up. And we had found out that apparently he had committed suicide. So it was it was really it was really tough times. Just you, that's the, you know this was like probably in like 1995, 96. And at the time, like I never knew anybody who committed suicide, you know. And it was just such a shocker. And I'm and the song "Gone Away" was we we kind of played this for him in his memory. And it was just it was just crazy times. And you know this is one of the definitely albums I'll always remember about eighth grade. It's besides the bad that bad memory. It was a great album, my favorite Offspring album to this date. Pretty much every song was great. Uh, I just bought the the rock band songs All I Want and on another song, even though that's not it. But All I Want was fantastic. It's just I love it. And I remember buying these two on the same day, and I bought Silver Chair's second album, all three of them at the same time. And for some reason, that's a a, a memory that that sticks in my mind, the fact that I bought all three of them together, but either way, the third one is Offsprings, Ixnay and the Ombre, I'm sure everybody's 
has it, own it, checked it out. Uh, the next one is... Be the one with the loudest mouth Be the most close-minded As I could get It just does the one I remember back when this CD was out when I was in the 8th grade, I remember Best Buy would have this CD along with Real Big Fishes and Buck 09 CD. All three of them would be like $5.99 every week at Best Buy, which was really weird. So there was no reason for me not to have this. So This was definitely and probably still one of the best ska bands, punk ska bands ever with horns. And uh, this album, 16 songs and all 16 are amazing. I mean, it's I've never seen a, an album so like the track listing is perfect. Every song is just like one after another. It's just man, this is such a sing along, awesome album. And I'll always remember "Sugar in Your Gas Tank." For some reason, that song always just stuck with me. And I remember Andres, my friend Andres, the one I talked about earlier. I remember we were in guitar class together and. For some reason, he kept bringing this album every day to school, and I'm like, what is up with this album? You keep bringing it. And then he let me borrow it, and I was like, oh my god, it is awesome, and it's still awesome to this day. Still my favorite Lesson Jake album. And uh, for those who don't know, there's a secret opening hidden track. Just press rewind during the first song. Trust me. Awesome, fantastic. Always, for some reason, I'll always remember Guitar Class with this one. The next one... Is another one uh, Andres, my friend Andres had told me about, and this was also during our guitar class. And I remember we 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 had kind of like this show, this talent show for the class. And I remember I wasn't in it, but his he his group was in it because we were in groups in guitar class, and his group was in it. And I remember they were playing this song. And I never heard of it before, and then I borrowed it, and I'm like, oh my god, it's pretty cool. It's definitely not my favorite ska band, but it, it always, for some, for some reason, reminds me of 8th grade. And it's the Voodoo Glow Skulls, Firme, or Firm, however. And there's a song, like, they have horns, but this one song was the only song, I think, on the album that didn't have horns. And his band had played it, or his group had played it during the talent show, and I was like, I remember sitting in the audience, and I was like, the person next to me, I'm like, dude, when you hear this you're going to be like, oh my god. And I remember they performed it and it was awesome. And to this day, I always will remember uh, Guitar Class in that moment when it comes to this album. Uh, I remember buying it and I remember thinking, it, I mean, the whole thing is not amazing, but the ones that are amazing are like really, really, really good. And I just remember buying this too at Best Buy. It was just like, I never really wanted to buy it because I really wanted it for that one song. But I... I was like, okay, I'm going to get it today. And I finally got it. And it's Voodoo Glow Skulls Firme. Uh, I would definitely suggest uh, checking the previews on iTunes beforehand. Because it's definitely, this band's an acquired taste. It's not bad. And I'm going to throw a bonus one in there because I can. And it's, I can't find the case for it. And it's MXPX Life in General. And this one, probably one of the best pop punk albums ever. And I don't know if I list if I listed it in my top five pop punk albums, but this one is incredible. It still holds up. It's still my favorite MXPX album. All the songs were great. Uh, I remember doing a lot of homework with this in the background. That's what I remember. So anyways, guys, uh, another quick bonus. I rushed the ladies room, took the water from the Lives Secret Samadhi. Now, I used to have it, but I don't have it anymore. But this was an album I was so excited for. I remember seeing uh, the video for Lakini's Juice, and I loved it. And I remember I had a project due, and I'm like, damn, why do I have to have a project due right before I want this CD? And then when I finally, you know, did the project, and then I went to go get it, and I went home, and it was the biggest flaming piece of shit I've ever heard. It was so bad. And I definitely remember it being really, really bad. And that was a big moment and big memory in 8th grade. So I thought it sucked. I think you guys probably thought it sucked too. Uh, thanks for watching. This was my top five band, f top five CDs, I should say, that got me through 8th grade. And I hope you enjoyed it. And you should definitely check out all those albums.